Hello fellow freelancers. So this is a video that I thought needed updating because it uh, hadn't updated it since 2018. And uh, I know Upwork has changed since then. So I wanted to uh, show you how to sign up for Upwork and kind of go through the process. This is uh, basically just a walkthrough and just so you can see more or less how it's done. And I'm gonna do so as a freelancer. Now in case, uh, for those of you who don't know, Upwork is a great place where you can get jobs as a freelancer. It's also a great place to hire freelancers, no matter what type of freelancer you are or you're looking for. My background is as a freelance translator, so that's sort of uh, the viewpoint that I'm doing this from, but the process for signing up should be pretty much the same for any type of freelancer. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, you click on new to Upwork, sign up. Then you can get your account using either Google or Apple. I'm gonna do so using a different email address. Then you enter your first name, last name, create a password. Here, I want to hire for a project, work as a freelancer. I'm gonna pick work as a freelancer. And then I need to pick a username that hasn't been taken. We'll see if this has been taken. It probably has. Uh, then you can click, you can choose not to uh, opt into the emails, but you do have to accept this. And here it says the username is already in use, just like I thought. So I can do something like this. Um, and then I can click on create my account. Nope, this is also already in use. So let's just do this. Now you should receive an email. Let's see, verify your email to proceed. So you should receive an email that you need to click on to uh, verify this. Once you verify it, it takes you straight back to Upwork and you can say join Upwork as a freelancer. And so you click continue. And then you need to fill out your profile. Now you fill out your profile thoroughly and accurately, submit your profile and you receive an email within 24 hours to let you know if you were accepted. So it used to be quite automatic before, but now you need to be accepted by them. And this, now obviously I don't work for Upwork, so I'm not privy to their insider information, but from what I've heard, it very much depends on supply and demand and also on filling out your information accurately. You can choose to upload your LinkedIn profile or fill it out manually. I'll do this in the interest of time. And then once I've saved my profile, I can upload it. So here, what is the main service you offer? I'll put translation, select a subcategory, maybe legal translation, select your skills, let's put contract translation, documentation, uh, agreements, obviously translation. I can select up to six more skills, so why not? Uh, product documentation, official documents translation, and uh, you can add your own skills, but they need to be part of a list. So if I put say certificate translation, it says skill not found and type slowly to see the list. I can put certificate certification, but these have nothing to do with translation. So I'm gonna skip these. I can try putting in translation to see what else pops up, but it's only translation. So I'll just leave it at these for now. Entry level intermediate expert. I would say I'm an expert. And here you can just fill out all your information. Here already has my information that I got from LinkedIn, so it makes my life a lot easier. It has all this. So I can click next, next. What is your English proficiency? Native or bilingual? What other languages do you speak? Italian. It's like proficiency, native. Then I can add another language if I want. I'll put 
French. My proficiency, I would say, is fluent. And then I'll also add Chinese. And I'll say conversational. My hourly rate. Here you can put in whatever hourly rate. You can obviously change all these later. I would recommend trying to fill it because for a lot of these steps, you can you can click on skip this step, but I would try to fill it out as much as possible because I do think it probably helps your chances later on. So here, a lot of the information is filled out, but you can tweak it and you can change it if you want to. You do have the option to skip this step, but I would recommend not doing that just so you have as much information filled out as possible. I would imagine that probably helps your chances of being accepted. You can add a profile photo. They need to verify your identity to create a trusted marketplace. So you need to fill out your real address and um, postal code. You also need to fill out your phone number. And then once all that is done, you can verify and check out your profile just to make sure it uh, makes sense. And then you click on Submit Profile. Now, I would say at the beginning, when you submit this profile, you're doing it purely to get accepted. You can change anything in your profile later on. You can tweak it. You can kind of experiment to see what works in terms of your uh, information, your price, etc. But for now, you just want to get accepted. And that's pretty much it. Here, you obviously, you can download the app. You can do a, a bunch of other stuff. I would just leave it until you actually get accepted. So wait those 24 hours and see what happens. If you filled it out to the best of your knowledge or ability, then, uh, then just wait and see what happens, whether you get accepted or not. But obviously, filling out an email address, obviously, that can be verified and a phone number that can be verified are very important. Also, having a mailing address uh, that's a real mailing address uh, is also obviously quite important. Okay, so now it's, it's pretty much exactly 24 hours later and I received uh, this uh, email from Upwork which says my profile is now live. So let's check it out. You're all set up. Uh, your profile is now live. Blah, 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 blah. So be sure to read getting started on Upwork for all this. So it has the usual stuff. Um, and once again, the way Upwork does it, uh, no one really knows. You know, it's their choice whether to accept your profile or not. As you can see, mine got accepted. I imagine it really helps to have everything filled out. Uh, once again, uh, you saw my, all my profile was filled out. I was able to have a full LinkedIn profile that I transferred over and, um, and you know, I basically filled out any type of information they were asking for, including address and phone number, et cetera, et cetera. I think the more of that you can fill out, the better. Uh, probably helps if you do have LinkedIn or something like that because they can see right away that you have another profile, that you're a serious person. And, uh, but these, this is all guesswork, uh, quite frankly. I know some people have been rejected and some people have been hired. I know some people say they've been rejected because Upwork said they already had enough 
people, like uh, they already had a surplus of people offering the same services. So what you might try to do is maybe tweak your services a bit or make it a bit more unique in some way or another, but uh, otherwise it's kind of hit or miss. As you can see, the process itself is quite straightforward. Another point you notice I did not uh, fill out any payment information yet, any credit card information, bank information, or anything like that. So you don't need that when you first set up. And this is, might be helpful as well because uh, right away uh, they say here why my application to join might not be accepted. And I recommend checking out this article. So how about I just link to this article? I think everyone should be able to access it. I can link to it uh, right below the video. Uh, but just to give you a general idea, it'll go through what makes a great profile application. Why didn't Upwork approve my profile? They say admission is highly competitive. It receives more than 10,000 freelancer registrations daily. Oh, wow. Why do you accept some freelancers and why not? It's highly competitive. You feel your profile does not accurately represent your skills or experience. You're free to update and resubmit your profile. So like I said, this means that you can tweak your profile. You can make it be make it more specialized, change it up a bit and try resubmitting it and keep trying to do that until you get accepted. I've resubmitted how long until I, someone, uh, how long before I hear back and you should hear back every time you resubmit it, you should hear back within 24 hours apparently. And like I said, it was more or less exactly 24 hours that they sent my, uh, they sent me an email saying that I had been accepted. So that's pretty much it. I hope you find this useful and, uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will talk to you next time. Okay. Thanks. Bye.